after almost three years and 864 matches, we are down to the final game of World Cup qualifiers, the very last spot, up for grabs. Will it be Costa Rica, Los Ticos, who always seem to qualify for World Cups and their journey through these qualifiers is an exceptional story? Or will it be New Zealand, who are the only undefeated team in the 2010 World Cup? One game. This is why the pressure is on and both teams need to show up on the day. So let me know your prediction. Who do you think will be qualifying, grabbing the last spot in the World Cup qualifiers? Will it be Costa Rica or will it be New Zealand? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's get to the preview and prediction. Before we get to the prediction, as usual, we need to do a preview of both teams. Let's start off with Los Ticos, Costa Rica. I'll be honest to all Costa Ricans out there. I thought this generation was done. I didn't give them a chance to qualify for the World Cup. Their Gold Cup performance last summer was pretty poor. And I said, okay, they're going to finish 6th or 7th, but it's been a great golden generation. But they had other ideas. It didn't start off the greatest though. They didn't pick up their first win until match day 5 against El Salvador at home. And they didn't pick up their second victory in World Cup qualifiers until match day 8. But 2022 has been Costa Rica's year. An exceptional unbeaten run where they have picked up a victory over Panama, a draw away at Mexico, a victory away in Jamaica, a victory at home against Canada, a victory away in El Salvador, and beating the United States 2-0 at home, and they have made it to the Intercontinental Playoff. It wasn't looking the greatest for Luis Fernando Suarez. His side were not playing the greatest during the walk of qualifiers, quite defensive, but then all of a sudden, they just started playing some great football with some great outcomes. And you have to give Credit to the Costa Rica Federation to back him and to stick with him. If you look at Honduras, they sacked their manager during qualifiers and they didn't qualify. So you have to credit to the Costa Rica Federation and of course, these players. Costa Rica have predicated during this golden generation to have a good defense and just keep a clean sheet. And they did it once again, having one of the best defensive records in the CONCACAF qualifiers. Eight goals conceded in 14 matches, but the biggest problem for them is goal scoring and 13 goals scored in 14 matches and they don't get the goals just from one guy they get it from all over the pitch you get it from Borges you get it from Campbell you get it you get it from Contraes you get it from Brian Ruiz of course still Brian Ruiz is playing for this team <laughs> it's pretty crazy Oscar Duarte, Kesher Fuller, Jimmy Marin, Gerson Torres, Juan Pablo Vargas this team while it might not be the most sexiest to watch they get the job done and even against the USA they had their B slash C team and beat the United States at home. And it wasn't even close. Costa Rica were fantastic on the day. So you really have to give this squad credit. Well, yes, they have the big names like Keylor Navas, Brian Ruiz, Joel Campbell, Brian Oviedo, Oscar Duarte. You look at new guys like Juan Pablo Vargas, Keisha Fuller, who's now been more involved, Gerson Torres. So this team is evolving from the old generation into the new one because they have a lot of a lot of 17 year olds and 18 year olds involved in the squad as well so los ticos they're definitely going to be the team with more possession right or will they look at this game and say you know what new zealand you try and break us down and we can hit you on the counter attack so it's going to be interesting to see how luis fernando suarez approaches the game costa rica have been absolutely exceptional in 2022 haven't lost a game yet can they continue it in qatar they'll be a little bit more Acquainted with the climate, it's quite, you know, somewhat similar to Costa Rica. At least the heat, I want, at least. I don't know about too much about humidity. I didn't check that much. But I think Costa Rica are going to be favorites in this game. They just got to be confident. And this side, it's just confidence is oozing at the moment. So shout out to Costa Rica and all the Los Ticos fans there. Let's get to New Zealand. Danny Hayes' side. We always knew that New Zealand were going to qualify to the Intercontinental Playoff. Because they always do. Unless it's to the Confederation Cup in 2013 when Tahiti won, of course. But New Zealand actually have a very interesting team. Yes, they are a very physical team. And yes, they are very good from set pieces. But it's not just only that. They actually have a lot of good young talent actually across Europe. It's not just Winston Reid or Chris Wood or the big names that you always think about when it comes to New Zealand. They have other players who can get the goals and create. You look at Matthew Garbett from Torino, Joe Bell from Brumbu, he's, a, he's actually been very good with Brumbu this season. You look at Liberato Caseses from Empoli, Michael Boxall from Minnesota United, Bill Tulomo. 
So New Zealand are not just a one trick pony and they're not just relying on Chris Wood to get the goals. But it's going to be a whole different story playing it against Costa Rica compared to Solomon Islands, Vanuatu and these teams. And that's why New Zealand have to elevate their play even more. But I think they're going to be confident heading into this game. Maybe in previous occasions in World Cup qualifiers, they would play Mexico two legs. Okay, it's going to be difficult in Mexico City. Then they host them at home. Okay, you know, last edition, they hosted Peru. Didn't go their way away at Lima, in Lima. They lost 2-0. So I think New Zealand are going to be very happy now. It's only a single leg. Maybe, yes, they can just defend and sit back and just hold on for penalties. But I think they should take the game to Costa Rica. Really test them. Yes, Costa Rica will be very much the favorites and conf having huge confidence. But if New Zealand want to win the game, they have to take it to Costa Rica. And if it goes to penalties, I mean, Kayla Navas is pretty brilliant at stopping penalties, as we saw in the 2014 World Cup. And obviously, Chris Wood, he's going to have to be the man. He's not been the greatest with Burnley slash Newcastle this season. He's going to have to step up big time. And obviously, Winston Reid at the back who doesn't have a club at the moment. Can Winston Reid lead his side to their third ever appearance at a World Cup? First one in 1982, and obviously the second one was in 2010. I think New Zealand can do this, but it's going to be difficult against Los Ticos. The prediction. Well, I think a lot of people are going to pick Costa Rica, right? Right? I am as well. This is no offense to New Zealand. I actually think that their youthful players that they have in the side can help them in the future. And they are guaranteed a World Cup spot anyways, 2026 and beyond. Because OFC will always be guaranteed one spot. So it's not always doom and gloom for New Zealand if they lose this game. But they have a promising future. I like the way they have a lot of young players across Europe. I think it's going to definitely benefit the side for future generations. But Los Ticos at the moment are on fire. Like I said, they haven't lost a game in 2022. They were excellent against the USA with their B slash C squad. Costa Rica were also good against Canada. Yes, they faced a lot of adversity. They faced a lot of shots. Kaylor Navas kept them in the game. But they got the 1-0 victory. And that's all that matters. So, Costa Rica. This is not going to be the most prettiest game, people. Let me just say that. I could easily see Costa Rica. Okay, they get the one goal in the first 30 minutes. And then it's over. Because they'll just spark the bus. But it doesn't really matter at this point. Just get the job done and qualify to Qatar. So I'm going to go with Costa Rica winning this game 2-0. That's going to be my prediction. Let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. So there's my prediction. I think Los Ticos, Costa Rica will qualify to Qatar. Did I have them qualifying to Qatar in my 32 teams prediction? Nope. But I like to be proven wrong. And I like that this golden generation want to do it one last time and get the new generation involved in a world cup and know how it feels that they so they're hungry to qualify to many more in future tournaments so let me know your prediction in the comment section down below who will be grabbing the last ticket to qatar will it be costa rica new zealand let me know your score prediction also hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you want to join my discord follow me on all my social medias those will be found in the description down below and if you want to become a member of the channel it is 99 cents. There is the preview prediction. Remember, there will be a watch along for the game. We have to do a watch along. It's the last spot and the last match of World Cup qualifiers 2022. And the last one with 32 teams involved. Further ado, have a beautiful day. Stay safe, everyone. And adios.